If this jug could talk, it would tell the story of friendship between two Australian painters, Margaret Ollie and David Strawn. They first met as fledgling artists in 1945, attending nighttime drawing classes at East Sydney Technical College. Tragically, in 1970, Strawn died in a car accident, and Australia lost an artist whose singular vision imbued the everyday with a deep, quiet, dreamlike sensibility. Following Strawn's death, Ollie used his home as a studio, and this blue banded jug that was amongst Strawn's collection of things became subject matter for Ollie's paintings. We know Ollie for her bright, colourful flower paintings, but in this work we don't see her signature poppies, tiger lilies or cornflowers of rich and vibrant colour, but instead the jug holds an arrangement of wildflowers, the colour of the earth and the stars, and with an irresistible texture they reach up and outwards to create a canopy over the objects below. Some years after David Strawn's death, his estate gifted the blue banded jug to Ollie, and so it came to be part of the collection of things in her home studio, and is now in the collection here at the Margaret Ollie Art Centre. In 2017, we invited Brisbane-based painter John Honeywill to make new work in response to Ollie's home studio. This jug, coupled with a spectacular artichoke flower, was one of the objects he painted. Our next still life challenge is inspired by Ollie's Hawkesbury wildflowers with lemons. Paint, draw, collage, print, whatever you choose, we can't wait to see what you do. Yeah.